Omaha man stabs himself in the leg while driving, holding knife, and eating Taco Bell. <laughs> First of all, there is nothing at Taco Bell you need a knife right. for. Right. So you've heard of Omaha steaks. This is an Omaha mistake. Yeah, there that's right. There we go. go. Wait, hang on a second. Like you, di- I, hey, can, who needs I, a knife with a taco? Can some, and right. Is this the type of guy that takes a napkin and tucks it in the top of his shirt when he eats a chalupa? I actually skipped a part. Omaha man stabs himself in the leg while driving on the phone with friend, holding knife and eating Taco Bell. Wait, how do you do that? I guess he's hands free on the phone. Yeah, because you need, you need the gordita in one, right? And then well, you're obviously what kind of knife are we talking? I think it might sure be like a crocodile Dundee knife. There's no. That's not. Do you a think knife. they even have knives at Taco Bell? That's not. No. Even in the kitchen, do you think there's a knife? No, I bet there no. is not one knife at Taco Bell. At, no. at, at Chipotle, no. they make you believe there are knives. No, well, there is because they're cutting the chicken and stuff right, right after. I'm saying in the kitchen, Dan. If Nobody ever has been who's like I'm. I work at Taco Bell in the kitchen. Has nobody has ever said to them, "How are your knife skills?" Well, I'm sure everything in the Taco Bell when they're like huh, on training, it's like open this bag and pour it on Squeeze this. Open this, this bag and pour out it on of that, a hose. and then you've got a crunchy wrap supreme. Oh my god! Maybe this, maybe he was just trying to show his friend how many ways he could hurt himself at once. You know? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Driving, talking on the phone, oh, sure. eating Taco yeah. Bell, yeah. has a knife. That's like the human version of too many apps open. <laughs> like you, you're over. Close some of that. Yeah. Just close uh, it. Oh, by the way, this was sent in by Katie Romy at K Romy thirty two R O M E Y. Thanks, Romy. Katie. That might be the first time Katie's ever sent it. Hey, all right. Traffic safety officials always say you shouldn't drive while distracted. More specifically, you shouldn't drive while talking to your friend on the phone, eating Taco Bell, and holding a knife. By the way, this is something Sam Rill will never do. Because no. he does not drive. Oh, he does not drive. This is reason I was number gonna, 50. For I was going to say he probably doesn't eat Taco Bell. But yeah, I bet you don't. Unfortunately. Uh, I, I, that, that, some of that uh, Taco Bell sauce is pretty good late You'll night. party oh, with yeah. that. All right. All right. All Unfortunately, right. an Omaha man did that Thursday night and, and inadvertently stabbed himself in the leg. The <laughs> man had picked up some food at Taco Bell noon near 38 and Dodge Street. Oh, this is an Omaha. Because when you think about it, there's no better place to eat Mexican food than Omaha, Nebraska. Just right? before 2 a.m. So that is the, that's fourth meal. That's, that's the out. window. That's yes. <laughs> he's in the window. At least he's in, it's not like it's 5.15. <laughs> at least yeah. he's eating it at the right time. Yes. So we know alcohol had something of to do course. with it. Of course. Oh, he was. Taco okay. Bell should really just be open from like midnight on. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. What are your hours? <laughs> midnight to four. No. What are your hours? Dark. <laughs> Dark time. Drunk. Well, for you, you, for you Taco and for Bell us. cantinas. Have you seen those? Yes. No. It's just alcohol. Yeah. Oh, Taco yeah. Bell. Yes. Are you serious? Yes. The man picked up some food at Taco Bell near 38 and Dodd Street just before 2 a.m. Thursday and was on his way to give some to his girlfriend. That means he ordered a Mexican pizza. <laughs> according to a police report. As he was eating and driving, he later told police he was talking to a friend via Bluetooth speaker and looking at a knife that his friend gave gave him dude <laughs> while just driving get to the girlfriend's house <laughs> dan he was thinking outside the bun he then Give him some credit <laughs> he then drove through a large pothole or hit a bump in the road that's him trying to explain yeah then i happened. don't know what happened the, i hit a bump in the road the jolt made him accidentally stab his right thigh with a knife the oh police my report God. said the man was left with a one to one and a half inch deep puncture wound in the top of his right thigh. Oh my god! I know. So this is a That's this a is a deep. It's cut. like yeah, this is like a flea market knife. I'm imagining. Yeah. Like, like, like ornate handle. Little this flip is, out shiny blade. This is like the Pink Floyd song that's just all breathing. It's, the, a, it's a deep cut. <laughs> the man, <laughs> the man, then headed to the nearby Nebraska Medical Center, where he waved down security officers and asked where the emergency room was. For some reason, that's where it ends. 